Hello and welcome back to Digging with Dallas. That's right, that's me. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up the base of one of my buddies. It's looking a little bit untidy, so I'm going to sort out underneath it, all around it, and come and join me now while I do it. It's going to look really good, hopefully, after. Let me know what you think. So let's dive right in and I'll show you what it is I'm going to do. There we are. This is the base of the buddleia that we're going to sort out. It's got lots of long grass all growing in here. It will just need a good tidy up. So what I'm going to go and do now is go get some wood. I'm going to cut round it here. I'm going to put a wooden frame around it. So therefore when I mow up to it, I can mow straight up to it. Don't have to worry about going in and out of it at all because it's all going to be grass free. So while I'm going to go get that, grab yourself a cup of coffee and I'm going to crack on with this and we'll have a little bit of a chat while we do it. So now I've, uh, I've sent my wood up around this, this is what I'm going to aim for. So I'm going to sink this down into the ground and everything on the inside of this is going to be grass free. And then I'm going to be able to mow straight up, round and round it on. So now I've set that up without, without you watching, I've cut it up down to side. I'm just going to go round now with uh, my garden edger, round the edge of that wood. And then it's going to give me something to work on in the middle and dig it out. But also when we're talking about digging it out and whatnot, can you all let me know if you can hear this correct? I did a vlog last week with my Beats headphones, uh, trying again with it to see if you can get it to work a bit better. So let me know if you can hear it all right. And also let me know if you think this is going to look good as well. So join me now and I'll have dug that bit out and we'll sink it into the ground. And like that, I've actually done it. It's now sank into the ground. I've measured that about perfect there now. But the ultimate question is, one of a couple of things now, it's treated timber, so I don't need to paint it, but I might paint it black to match it with the rest of the garden. But the biggest question I need to ask everyone, do you think it should leave the drop down here? It's a bit easier for weeding, you can get in and out of here where it just comes level and drops two inches all the way around it. Or do you think I should leave it as it is? I'm personally thinking leave it as it is, just for the fact it's going to make it easier to weed or my other thought is I might even buy some some grey slate put a bit of grey slate in here as well which then again would keep the weeds down and also look quite pretty up against the green there that, that's probably not a bad idea let me know what you think but sneak peek preview for the next vlog you will already remember the wildlife pond that I've got I had lots of frog spawn come and appear in it this year. I've started off a bit of a wildlife strip in the back garden and surprise, surprise, it's all working. It's all connected, it's all come together. I've got quite a lot of baby frogs, froglets. We'll call them baby frogs in that at the moment. And I'm gonna do a video on that midweek. Hopefully I'll get that out to you Wednesday. We'll go for Wednesday, it's Sunday today so if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and liking it really does mean the world to me and i will release that to you on wednesday but for now i'm gonna go clean my tools down i'm gonna go get a cup of tea and release this log out to you lovely lot so we'll see you on the next one bye bye for now cheers